Well, look at that. We have a new open source king in the model size category of 7 billion called Neural Beagle. Now, this is a new model that I came across just tonight as the best performing 7 billion parameter model on the open large language model leaderboard with just 7 billion in terms of its model's parameter size. It's currently ranked 10th as the best performing model in the ranks compared to other models in various different sizes whether that's 33 billion you have 35 60 as well as 70 plus now this is a model that has been merged using lazy merge kit from the original beagle model as well as the marcoro model now if you take a look at the beagle original beagle model it is something that scored number one on hugging face leaderboard for its dramatic scores. It has reached 73 across ARC and it's quite well balanced. Now, if you combine this with the Marcoro model, we can see that we were able to get the first uh, ranking model for the 7 billion parameter size. And this goes, just goes to show that if you are able to fine tune and merge certain models together, you can get the best ranking average in terms of, on terms of comparing it with other models on the open large language model leaderboard. Now, I know this might be getting repetitive, but I really want to emphasize on our private Discord as it has been thriving a lot recently. There has been a lot of great things coming out of this as you can just see from this like image right here on the screen where we basically just had a new partnership where we are giving out paid subscription plans for Dataku. And this is an amazing a effortless and accurate approach for data extraction. Now, this is just an example of something that we do and work with. There's multiple different paid subscriptions that are given out to our Discord members for free. You simply become a member and you get access to various different AI tools across the month. And it's on different ranges of AI tools. It's not necessarily just data execution tools, but it's various different types of categories in the field of AI. Now. We don't just end up giving out free subscriptions to AI tools. We also give out various other different things like collaboration opportunities where people can basically work as a team to build applications. We have various networks. We have news outlets. We have resources as well as daily AI inputs. So definitely recommend you check out the Patreon link in the description below as I really wanted to emphasize what you guys are missing out on if you guys are not a part of this. This is a model that was created by Maxime, and he does a lot of things in relation to model creation. Now, as I stated before, what he had done is that he used two models to create this. Firstly, he used the neural base model with the Marcoro model, I believe, and he also merged it with the original Beagle model to introduce more elements to this overall model. And he basically then performed a DPO. And this is basically a domain preferred option. And it's a fine tuning method on merged models. It uses the same preference data set, but it seems like it wasn't actually too successful. It, it was something that he compared afterwards to the non DPO merge. And it showed that the performance improvements on OpenLM is not as significant as expected. But this is something that many people can probably learn from. It shows that additional fine tuning with the same preference data set might not have the, resulted, uh, the results that he would actually want based off the enhancements and the performance with this new fine tuning method. But it's a great way to provide some sort of research in this case where you're going to be fine tuning different models on the same preference data set. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Now, if you take a look at his chart over here, it shows the progress that has been made on new suite in just three to two, two to three months. Sorry. And we can see that there have been a lot of other models being merged off of these base models from Mistral, as well as with Intel's base model. If we go down even more, there's another graph that shows different types of qualitative feedback, as well as a comparison to other models in comparison to the new model that he just created, which is the neural bagel or beagle model. Sorry. And it goes to show that it does quite well in comparison to all of these other models in the 7 billion category in terms of model size. And if we take a look at AGI Evol as well as GPT-4 all scores, it's the first in mostly every ranking, which is really great to see. And it just goes that to show that this new merging 
method could be something that is quite viable to create stronger and better models. Now, this is something that I'll showcase throughout today's video. We'll just briefly go over this model, showcase how you can install it, and just showcase some other details around it. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be doing what we did before back in the days where we would showcase the newest open source models being released on OpenLM. We would basically go over the best models that were released on a day-to-day -day basis and make a video on it. But we're going back to that because I found that this model as well as the approach that it used to create this model is quite, uh, I would say, out there. And it's something that I would definitely want to put some emphasis on. It was something that was created using Lazy Merge Kit, which is something that I would definitely want to showcase later in the upcoming future. But we can see that it is the best 7 billion model that you can find at this current moment. And they already have a quantized model as available. It is ranking number one in most categories. And it does a great job as being a well over round model, you can say. We all know that the average is a general benchmark, which shows that it is quite good in mostly every category, whether that's different metrics or different tasks. The AGI EVOL is another benchmark that measures the model's performance, which would include various language understanding tasks, as well as accessing the model's comprehension. Uh, the GPT-4 All benchmark is something that's tailored to access the model's performance across a wide range of tasks. It's indicating its versatility as well as its competence in handling diverse ranges of tasks. The truth full Q&A benchmark is something that is focused on evaluating the ability to generate truthful and accurate responses. Lastly, we have Big Bench, which is probably one of the best benchmarks out there. It is focusing on comprehensive tasks as well as challenging tasks. And we can see that it does a great job performing quite well in mostly every category, well above these other models that are out there in the open source space. At this current moment, you can also play around with it on Hugging Face Spaces so you get a better feel for it before you actually install it. You can test out certain prompts like what is the language model, what is 9 plus 2 minus 1, write Python code to print the Fibonacci sequence. Now these are just some examples as to what you can do and test out with the Neural Beagle. But in the case that you want to install it locally, it's fairly easy. What you can do is go to the GGUF model card, copy this model card, and you want to go on to LM Studio. Now, if you do not have LM Studio, I will leave a link to this video that I made before on LM Studio, which is the easiest way you can run any open source large language model locally. So watch this video, install it. It's fairly easy to do so. Once you have that installed, you can then go back to the model card, copy this model card, open up LM Studio. It's super easy. Once we have this opened up, I'll be right back. All right, sweet. Now I have it opened up. I can paste the model card over here. Once that is pasted over here, you can just click go and you'll see this model over here. You can simply then download the model. And once you have it downloaded, you can go to the conversation tab. You can then open it up by selecting the model and then you can start chatting with it locally through LM Studio. It's super easy and it's super simple as that. Now I'll leave all these links in the description below so you get a better idea as to what you can do with this, but you can truly see that this is a great technique that was used to merge different models to create a stronger open source model. I truly recommend you check this out, test it out, see how it is for yourselves. I hope that this video was quite insightful. If you want me to do more shorter videos like this so you get a better idea as to what is happening in the open source field i can definitely do more of these types of videos but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the patreon page if you want to follow us and get more insights on the ai space through our private discord definitely take a look at that patreon link in the description below you can also access collaborations networking opportunities as well as different types of ai tools that are paid for free Follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already. I'm posting very, very insightful knowledge on AI over here on an hourly basis, actually. Make sure you follow us on YouTube, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.